Hi everyone, and welcome to this edition of Engineering Q&A, our series where we interview representatives from each of the different schools, departments, and programs in the College of Engineering. I'm Ari Swartz, the Assistant Director of the Office of Future Engineers, and in this video we're interviewing our Civil Engineering Department. So I have two representatives from Civil Engineering that I'll have them introduce themselves. Jay, we can start with you. Hey everyone, my name is Jay Sharma. I'm a senior studying Civil Engineering with an Architectural Engineering focus, um, and I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Sue Khalifa. I'm a Purdue Civil Engineering alum and uh, the Director of Student Experience at Purdue's Lyle School of Civil Engineering. Awesome. So let's get right into it then. Um, for, for Sue, what does it mean to be a civil engineer? What do they do? Yeah. Um, so on a fundamental level, um, civil engineers design, build, and maintain the infrastructure that makes our communities work. Um, what that means is that we engineer systems that allow people and goods to move from place to place. We provide access to clean water and sanitation. We provide access to energy. Um, we allow our communities to handle and adapt to extreme weather events. We allow access to safe forms of shelter, um, develop innovative materials, and more. So, Sue, so, uh, why would students want to choose Purdue Civil Engineering? What are some of the unique things about the program, and what type of student might be drawn to it? Sure. So um, as a number five civil engineering program in the nation, ranked by US News and World Report, and with over 11,000 living alums, we provide great opportunities for our students to excel. Um, we are on the cutting edge of research led by our great faculty. Uh, with their wealth of knowledge and expertise, uh, they guide and educate our students in the technical and communication skills they'll need for their future careers. Also, civil engineering at Purdue feels like a family. Uh, we know our students and our students know our faculty and staff and more than anything we are here to help and guide our students in their academic and professional pursuits so jay then to you what was it about civil engineering that um, made you decide that field did you know you wanted to be a civil engineer when you came to purdue um yeah that's a great question uh, first i guess in high school when i was applying to colleges i didn't know what i wanted to major in um, i knew that i was passionate about sustainability and design and math and science, of course, uh, but I chose civil engineering because it gives me a good balance of the design and the creative aspect, but it's still really rooted in fundamentals of, of what is in our system, in our physical world. And the part that really drew me in was the interaction between people and our infrastructure. And so civil engineers really designed to help people work, live, move, you know, play, have fun. And so civil engineering at Purdue was really a no brainer for me because there's different disciplines that are within civil engineering and there's a lot of opportunities in and out of civil engineering so it was really simple for me um, and there's like we said a lot of access and and that family uh, feel in the school is something that really drew me in and kept me here so that's why you chose now you're actually a graduating senior what have you liked the most about civil engineering i like all the the social aspects of civil engineering um it's it's, it's very easy to tell who's a civil engineer in your classes. Um, and it's because we see the world in similar ways. We will walk into a building, we'll see how the structure is formatted. Or, or for me, I'm really interested in architecture, so I can see different components of a building or a space and see, okay, I know what the engineers and the architects and the planners were thinking when they made this. And so that aspect for me is really interesting, as well as travel, like I love to travel. And so um, having the civil engineering background has really allowed me to get a another insight into the places that I'm going and the people that I'm meeting and how they approach design uh, to make their city better. Okay. So walk us through then what's kind of a, the day in the life of a civil engineering student? I know no day is the same, but what are some of your common experiences across your, your last few years? Yeah. Um, I mean, class is, is definitely one big part of it. And, and for civil engineering, there's a lot of the coursework is, I think it's about 40% is lab work. And so typically on any given day throughout the past four years, um, we'll have like the lecture component of a class um, and then we'll also have the lab component. And the lab component is where we take the principles that we learned in the lecture and we're able to apply it. Um, and so we've made concrete, uh, we've done different hydraulic experiments. And so these real world problems is, is kind of the, it's the practical part of civil engineering. And that's the part that draws a lot of people in. Um, but when you understand the theory, you're able to understand natural disasters and how to have a, a sanitized system, um, how to treat wastewater, how to make air quality better. So um, that's what you learn in the lectures and the and the labs. Um, aside from that, day in the life, it composes of team meetings, um, 
group meetings, having fun with other civil engineering students and other Purdue students. Um, and then there's also events that go on, you know, on any given day. So you're able to get that little networking component, um, the social component, as well as the academic and professional. So let's expand a little bit on that social and, and professional life side of civil engineering. One of the common questions we hear from students is, you know, if I go into a specific branch of engineering, will I have opportunities to still branch out outside of that both professionally, socially, and so on? So what are some of the things that you're involved in outside of class? Yep, uh, that's a great concern. And it's, again, one of the reasons I chose Purdue is because it's not just an engineering STEM school. I um, mean, I wanted to interact with different people. Um, so outside of class, I'm involved in the American Society of Civil Engineers. Um, it's, a, it's a really big national and international group of civil engineers, um, and they have different competitions there. I'm also involved in the National Society of Black Engineers. Um, it's a professional organization dedicated to uplifting the community um, and doing community service and professional development. And then there's also other organizations related to environmental engineering that I'm a part of. Um, and then I did research as well during my time here. And that was really interesting because the, the access I have to professors and, and even professors outside of civil engineering is really is really strong. And so that, that research component is really um, fundamental in, in how to think like an engineer and how to think about the design process. So that's interesting. And then there's um, other social groups that are purely for fun, purely for my enjoyment um, that have nothing to do with engineering. And I think things like that really keep me grounded and, and let me be an engineer, but also be a person, be a college student uh, in the 21st century. Yeah, for sure. Um, another interesting thing about civil engineering is there's, there's what, nine different specialization tracks in the program. How did you determine which one you wanted to do? It can be a bit complicated sometimes because you might be interested in a few different things, um, but luckily you, you're not choosing a, a, a concentration until about your junior year. Oh, um, and so you're taking classes in the different concentration areas and you're taking, you're learning the fundamentals of each. Um, and for me, like I said, I'm interested in architecture. So um, and sustainability. So architectural engineering is, is all about sustainable building design and how do we make our, our spaces as comfortable for people as possible. Um, but it was for me, it was between architectural and environmental um, as my two concentrations. And there's also a environmental engineering minor. And so I chose to do the environmental minor with the architectural concentration. So I'm still getting both sides of the, the soil conservation, the white wastewater treatment, air quality treatment, um, as well as the sustainable building design. Um, and it really allows me to get a full holistic approach of what goes into a city or what goes into a, a plan um, when you're trying to, you know, make an area better, make or make lives better for people. So um, that aspect of the different concentrations and you see how they all intersect and intertwine within each other is really interesting to see as a student. Yeah, sounds like lots of opportunities to kind of overlap, which is nice. Um, so of the several dozen career fairs that we have on campus every year, civil engineering has their own. Can you talk a little bit about that and how that, how that works? Yeah, definitely. Um, so civil engineering, it's a pretty big career fair. It's usually in mid October. Um, and it's usually around a hundred or so companies. That, um, and it's really, really, I think compared to the other engineering at Purdue, I think it's one of the best because they break it down by uh, one, your grade level. So you can see if you want an internship or a co-op or a full-time, but also your concentration. And so you can see what different country uh, companies or firms are recruiting for. Um, and it's also a bit relaxing because you know, everyone in that, in the space is a civil engineer. They're looking for civil engineering. So you already have that, that one commonality with the recruiters or the companies or the other students. Um, and it's really encouraging because you see the different students that you know. And so when you're walking around, to different tables or different people. Um, you kind of give words of encouragement to your classmates or you might see someone that you know in your class. So it's just really nice. Um, and we do have, have interview booths usually at the at the uh, career fair. Um, so that's really interesting because you do get like the, the first initial meeting, but also the second follow-up. And so for me, I've been able to make a lot of lasting relationships from the career fair alone. The career fair is a student-run career fair. It's one by our student organization, CSAC, um, that's Civil Engineering Student Advisory Council, and they work really hard all year long to bring um, companies um, from all over the nation and international companies as well to provide opportunities for our students. What's really cool about the career fair is that it's a really big career fair. So this past year, there were, a, I think, just over 130 companies that ended up coming to recruit um, students. So it's, um, it's, 
it's a career fair that's been around for a long time. Um, it brings a lot of companies and it's well run by our student organization. Sounds like. So 130 companies or so. How many students are in the civil engineering program for undergrads? Yeah, good question. So right now we're at a, just over about 530. Um, so yeah, a good size, which, you know, we're a fairly um, big size school, but as Jay mentioned, um, and I talked about earlier, um, what I really like about our program is that it still feels like a family. We connect with our students, our students connect with us. And, and that's something that um, is really near and dear to the Lyle School of Civil Engineering. Nice. So Jay, have you had internships or, or co-op experiences? Yep, I've had uh, three internships while I'm in college and um, I have a full time job upon graduation. And I think what's really uh, comforting to know is that it's not solely dependent on the career fair. So um, for me, like my first year, I didn't get anything from the career fair and that's understandable, but um, we're able to apply online. And, and what's interesting that way is people understand the value of a Purdue engineering degree. And so compared to other schools, um, you kind of do stand out automatically. And so I've interned um, around Boston. For the past three years, I've interned as a sustainability consulting intern. I've interned as a uh, energy efficiency and sustainability intern for the city of Cambridge. And I've also interned as a transportation and urban planning intern. And you said you have a full-time job lined up as well. That's awesome. What, what are you going to be doing? Yeah, um, so I'll be moving to LA and I'll work for the firm Arup. It's a architecture and design and engineering firm, and I'll be a building commissioning engineer, um, what has a little bit of a sustainability consulting built into it. That's awesome. So how did you get these these work experiences? Did you get them through the career fair? What was that process like for you? Yeah, so um, it's not for me personally, it wasn't as direct as I go to the career fair, I interview and I get the job. For me, it's a bit more um, more hoops to jump through, and, and for me, I enjoy that aspect. So. Typically, I'll meet someone at the career fair, uh, and I'll connect with them on LinkedIn, and we'll keep talking for a few months, and then eventually um, another opportunity will open up, and, and I can use my connection on LinkedIn to kind of get an in. Um, but something that's really interesting about civil engineering, too, is we have uh, different lecturers and professors come in from across the country, and so sometimes those people are working at the companies that I'm interested in, so I can follow up that way. And then uh, uh, another beautiful thing about Purdue and how big it is, is the different organizations that are here. And so sometimes those organizations have connections or they have their own career fairs. And so I'm able to make connections there um, and everything ties back into um, the School of Civil Engineering. And so really being able to navigate the professional space as a student, for me, I found is super, super easy as um, I grew older in Purdue. Um, and so really just understanding the value of the Purdue education and understanding um, what you want to do in life, is, I find uh, everything eventually falls into place. That's awesome. So Sue, coming back to you, uh, a common question we also get from our students is financial aid, scholarships, how can I pay for college? So at the Lyle School of Civil Engineering level, what sort of scholarships opportunities are available for students? Yeah, great question. Um, so um, we have um, a lot of scholarship opportunities for our students, which is really great. Um, we're proud to currently be able to offer over $700,000 in scholarships to our undergraduate students. Um, and this includes funding for students coming in to civil from first year engineering, as well as current civil students. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd like Jay to speak a little bit more about that process, because I know he's gone through it and he understands the application and also the banquet aspect of it, I think is really cool as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so every April, um, an application opens on the civil website. And so it's really easy for the students, especially because we fill out one application and you apply for all the scholarships. And so um, it's like a pool of money and then a, a pool of applications. And so uh, closer to the fall semester after that, the April deadline, um, we have a banquet. And the banquet is really special because it's more than just an acknowledgement of, of academic success or merit or community service aspect. Um, but you do get to connect with the different students that also got scholarships, but also there's faculty there, there's friends with Lyle's um, School of Engineering. So the banquet is really special. Um, and it's, it's really nice to know that the School of Civil Engineering cares enough for you, not just to get a scholarship, but also to provide you, you know, a banquet and a meal and, and this opportunity to really appreciate what you've done for the, for the community. And so that aspect is really nice. But the application process is really simple. Um, like I said, it's one application and you fill it out. And there's a whole list of different scholarships that uh, you may be able to apply for. 
So Ari, I'm going to jump back in because um, one other thing I want to add is what Jay exactly said about the banquet. The, another benefit of the banquet is um, that the um, funders oftentimes come. And so it's another way to engage. And those are oftentimes alums of our program. So it's another opportunity for our students to engage with alumni um, and possibly find those job opportunities and other um, opportunities out there for them. That's awesome. That's a really cool setup of having the, the donors come back and talk with the students that are that are receiving the scholarships that they've helped create. Very cool. Uh, Sue, another question for you. Another question we often get from students is uh, kind of the five-year combined bachelor master's programs. Does civil engineering offer that? How does that process work? Right. Yeah, we absolutely do. Um, we have a combined program and it allows the students to obtain a bachelor's and master's degree in as little as five years. Um, the process typically starts in the beginning of the junior year um, and you go through kind of typical grad school processes, but um, I'd probably divert people to go to um, our website at engineering.purdue.edu slash CE um, to gather all the information and facts um, that they need about this combined master's program. So question for, for either of you, um, for a student that's graduating like Jay, you're about to graduate, um, for students that might be considering graduate school, why might they want to pursue a graduate degree right off the bat? Or is that something that they typically might get later on down the road as a practicing a civil engineer? Yeah, that's a great question. I think part of the, the decision to go on to grad school or to go into the workforce is um, how interested are you in what you're studying? And for me, I'm really interested in what I'm studying. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to take a little break and get some industry experience and understand what is you know actually going on in the real world before I come back and, and kind of have a new fresh mindset. But for other disciplines, um, and other sub disciplines in, in, in civil engineering, um, people will take one or two classes here at Purdue during their senior year and they'll be like, wow, this is amazing and I want to continue doing this. And that's the case for a lot of the people. And so they'll make that decision to go into grad school and then eventually go into the workforce. So there's different there's different routes to take. Um, personally, I'm going to go into the workforce at, before I get my uh, master's degree. Um, and that's just because I'm interested in so many different things and it's, it's really important for me to get that, that real world experience and understand, you know, what is the purpose of this grad, uh, this graduate degree that I'm that I'm looking for. Just to piggyback on that, um, it's absolutely possible to graduate with an undergraduate degree and, and, and head out into industry and get a job, have a career. Um, Jay touched on a, a bunch of really great points, um, but there are certain industries um, that do look for students to have a, a master's degree um, coming out of school. So um, I think it, there's a lot of factors, but uh, Jay touched on a, a good number of them. Yeah. So it sounds like it's, it's there for those that want to, but it's also not necessary to get a job after graduation. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, so my last question I always like to ask my student panelists, Jay, is what has been your most favorite memory being a Purdue student, civil related or not? What's been your favorite thing? About Purdue? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I feel like when I look back at Purdue after I leave, I'm going to remember how campus looks at night after I'm done studying. Um, just because you'll walk from Hampton to wherever your dorm or your apartment and to see like the engineering fountain and to see the 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 arch of Purdue um, and to see how, you know, impactful Purdue has been on so many different parts of the world is one thing that's really important to me. Um, and for me, it's it's been like those first like freshman and sophomore year walking back and, and really trying to understand the content and and working and going to office hours and understanding, you know, what am I learning? What's the value of that? And so for me, when I think about that, it's, you know, walking on campus at night. Nice. Sue, how about you? Do you have any favorite experiences working with the undergraduate students? Gosh, so many. Um, I just, I enjoy, um, I, I work a lot with ambassadors like Jay and um, we do such a, um, fun, exciting events to engage students in what civil engineering is about and um, where civil engineering can take you. And so um, we have such a great um, group of students at our school and I'm just so proud to be able to work with them um, in whether it's, you know, recruiting kind of events or anything related to the school and beyond. Awesome. Well, thank you to you both for joining me for this remote interview session uh, for our engineering Q&A. I really appreciate the time you've taken. Um, thanks to our viewers. Hopefully you got some interesting information out of this. We'll also have links to the Civil Engineering Department's uh, school's website as well as their contact info on who you can contact for any other follow-up questions you may have. 
And of course, we at the Office of Future Engineers are always around too to help with, with any other questions you have. So thanks again, Jay and Sue. We really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. And stay, he stay healthy and stay safe. Thanks. Thank you. Take care.